Hey guys, it's me, Kevin here. So um, today I'm going to tell you about a story in high school. So in high school, I actually, well actually, for, for most of my life in the beginning, from ages 1 to 15, I never actually really spoke with girls. <laughs> it, was, it was always like an alien concept to me. So um, at about the age of 15, that was actually when I actually first spoke with a girl. Um, other than that, pr previous years, grade 8, 9, I just had stupid crushes and never really said a word to any girl. It's just like I walk up and I'm like some stranger acting all awkward and creepy and just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> In any case, so in grade 10, though, that all changed. Um, I met one girl and she sort of opened the door. Um, she was just a friend. I actually never dated her. Um, she was probably the one girl that actually set all the standards for me um if you're watching this <laughs> you probably remember the first thing you asked me you're, you're the one who the, broke the ice and you're probably one of the best friends i best girl pals i've ever met and you're very pretty <laughs> I, I didn't realize it at the time but um according to my class grade she was according to my class she was like by cons consensus the hottest girl in the class too so um it didn't occur to me though i was just like oh this is what, a, what talking to a girl is like so <laughs> it was so stupid so how it happened was it was in french class of all classes and then there was a seating plan and I was just like sitting with guy friends and I was just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And just like, oh, this is so cool. And then uh, throughout the semester, the semester changed and then the seating plan changed oh, as well. No! So the teacher sat me right next to her. <laughs> and, um, I was nervous as hell because I was sitting next to a girl now and she, she was like, in my eyes at the time from what I remember, she was quite pretty, but like I didn't think of anything of like, oh, she's like, the hottest girl or as or if i liked her that way either right i just saw her as a person but still a girl and i didn't know how to talk to girls at that time so the funny thing part was that uh i sat next to her um and i kind of just like shrugged away to the side well she's like over here on this side and that's about like the space between us like this is about the space between us it's literally uh like this much and it wasn't really wasn't and it's only like two two people per table so it's literally like i'm sitting right next to her side by side and i have no idea how the hell to talk to her and oh and apparently she was a transfer student too from another school so she actually didn't really know anybody either but the first thing she asked me was hey if you saw me in a magazine what would you do <laughs> my answer was like oh okay like in my brain i was going oh okay and then, but i responded with Oh, if I saw you in a magazine, I would buy it and then I'd burn it because you're so damn hot. And then she like burst out laughing and I was like, oh, I'm like, is this what it's like talking to a girl? That was my first experience, literally. Like the first conversation I ever validated myself as talking to a girl. This is a little different because I've been growing up with, you know, guys around me all the time. So, and it was just like always shy to talk to girls because I didn't know what to talk to them about because back then um in childhood days uh all i did was play games with my guy friends and we were like a bunch of nerds and whatever so and as you all know in the 1980s 1990s or the early 2000s gamers were shunned as freaks <laughs> um freaks of some sort of nature in any case um that doesn't really matter it wasn't offensive to me i didn't really care but this was the first time i ever spoke with a chick and the funny thing about that was, oh, and then afterward, after she asked that, I responded to her with, uh, all right, why, why are guys always cool and girls are always hot? And she's like, oh, I really don't know. And then I said, I'm like, all right, you know what? You're going to be the warm girl and I'm going to be the cold guy. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll always be ice cold to you and you can just warm me up. That way I'll just melt for you. <laughs> it was so stupid. So that was my first time ever talking to a girl. And I swear, I guess if... Looking back on it, it was kind of flirtatious, but I didn't think anything of it. I was just making jokes and stupid stuff over there. And then afterwards, we became friends, and I spoke with her here and there and followed her around, followed her around like a lost dog, just walking her to class and stuff, and uh, talking to her in front of her locker and whatever, but never really moved in on it or anything. Um, at the end of grade 12, 
uh, among almost all the classmates and other people, they, she, she was <laughs> by consensus the hottest girl in class, next to like another one. And something else happened in that grade two and grade twelve, but I'll tell you about that another time. <laughs> That's enough for this one, so I don't really want to drag this one on. So that was the first time I ever spoke with a girl. I was in grade ten, fifteen years of age. Up until that point, I barely ever spoke a peep. There was one girl I liked in grade 8, but I never spoke with her. All I did was just, like, walk up to her and share candy with her. It was kind of lame. <laughs> but that's it, so. I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll continue it next time about the what happened in grade 12 and 11. <laughs> so, until then, bye-bye for now. It really was a bad time. Um, I'm glad I made it through. The thing was that oh, I still can't get to that point. Jesus, this is the third time over already. So the worst point in my life was just a couple years back.